in with Littlefoot Nursery. Um, as you may have guessed from this box in the background, um, baby Connor has a new mommy. <laughs> I'm still sitting here in shock because of how quickly things happen, but, um, but yeah, basically, uh, a late, like I'd mentioned in one of my previous videos, um, I received a very polite and sweet message through doll fan, um, from a lady who watches my channel and, um, she had just basically shared how much she loved Connor um, and you know she'd been looking for one and hadn't found one that she really loved and she really loved my Connor um, who is the Connolly sculpt by Andrea Arcello um, her artist is from Dolphin um, it's Joe mum of five and um, she messaged me just to just to say you know hey I'm just putting this out there in the universe if you ever decide to sell him you know, would, would you, um, would you keep me in mind? And, you know, she was the only one who had, I think, messaged me about him specifically. I've gotten messages similar to that about Maisie and Clara, um, and both of them are not for sale. And, um, and so anyway, I, um, you know, I, I thought about it and I thought, you know, I really could use the money because I'm trying to bring home a new silicone, um, baby girl. Um, my portrait baby, she is not cheap, <laughs> so every little bit helps. And you know, just this time of year, uh, and I just thought, you know, it's Christmas, and you know, it would be really cool to make somebody else's dreams come true in terms of bringing home their dream reborn baby. And you know, Connor's really been more of a display baby, like I mentioned in one of my recent videos. And so, so anyway, um, I you know emailed her back, quoted her a price, um, she accepted. Um, she does live in Australia though, so this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to need to kind of box him up and then bring him to the post office to get weighed and then get a um, price quote for shipping. And it's actually a good thing <laughs> because that I have a little bit of extra time because I just realized that I am almost out of bubble wrap. So I don't know that this is going to be enough um, to wrap up Connor anyway. So I will definitely just use what I have and then pack everything up um, in the box so um, he can be ready to go. But anyway, he is not gonna come home with this um, tea collection outfit. I'm actually gonna change him out of this, and this will be my last changing video with this sweet little guy. I'm just gonna give him like one last hug. Oh, he's a darling baby, you guys. And I did end up reweighting him, and he's just heavenly the way that he feels now, because I um, put the um, premium Bountiful Baby stuffing in him, and um, I just like how he's weighted um, better now. So anyway, oh, he's so sweet. Okay, I'm going to change him one last time. I'm actually going to put him in, um, he has this Absorba sleeper. I'm going to put him in this, and he's the only one who has worn this. And Connor's a chunky boy, so he wears, um, for his new mommy who might be watching this, and she'll probably watch this Actually, I don't know if she'll see this before or after she receives him because I know that shipping to Australia takes a lot longer, so I'm not sure, but, um, but yeah. Oh, and the other thing, um, I am going to keep his cloth diaper and put him in a disposable diaper because I do save these and use these for my babies, and so, um, so that'll be one thing that I do keep. Um... I, he came with a gray, sort of velour Disney um, romper. Oh, by the way, before I before I diaper him up, I'm gonna go ahead and take him take him out of this first, and then I'll show you guys what he looks like in just his cloth body, because I don't think we really get to see him very much um, in that. So I'm gonna go ahead and change him. Yeah, he's he's just. I'm going to need to um, paint myself another boy baby. I'm actually tempted to buy this sculpt all over again. <laughs> okay, so let me show you guys. Um, oh, he, he just feels wonderful. Yeah, he's got, um, there he is. Yeah, he's, he's just, in pre he's pristine. And he's got a wonderful cloth body that has like um, kind of the gather tushy. So he's really a great baby. Um, and it's interesting because, you know, when you look at his um, size, you know, being, I think he's 21 inches, 
you know, he should be able to wear three months, and I think he can, um, but it's a tight squeeze, and I think it's because of his chunky thighs. <laughs> so, anyway, I feel, um, I feel a little sad to be letting him go. I really do. I really love this little guy. He's a sweetie. But I am also, um, I know it's for a good cause. I know his new mommy is going to absolutely adore him. Because he is just he's such a fantastic baby. Um, so I'm sending him home. This Absorber Sleeper did not come with him originally. I'm actually sending him home with, I think, some nicer clothing than he came with. But he will be coming home with his blue Spanish knit set, which I know... Um, his new mommy was kind of asking me like, where, where can she find something like that? So I know she likes it. Um, and I, you know, I will, I will definitely send that home with him. So she has that. I'm going to go ahead and get him dressed. Oh, bye sweet boy. Oh, he's so, you know, this sculpt has just a very like, just a sweet and endearing face. Just really darling. Yeah, as I'm looking at him, I'm like, oh, I might have to get one to paint for myself. Um, maybe once my bank account recovers a little bit, I will get another kit. Okay, this is like not the easiest outfit to put on, <laughs> clearly. Um, so it's like somewhat intimidating to... Okay, here we go. I think I figured it out. Yeah, it's like not the... You know, sometimes when it, when it has these like snaps, you need to kind of just figure out how to get everything to fit together. And Connolly, I believe, is an open edition kit. I, I'm not sure because... But his COA does not um, have an end number, so... I think he's an open edition, but I'll show you guys everything that he'll come home with, and then we'll wrap everything up. Okay. Okay. This, yeah, he's going to be well protected for his journey. Yeah, this looks really cute on him. But yeah, this is a three to six month size, I believe. Yep, three to six months, and it like fits him snugly. Like the legs are definitely, <laughs> he's, he's so chunky. Okay. Oh, all right, sweet guy. I'm going to let you sit here on the side. I'm going to get rid of, um, this here. Okay. And let me, I'm going to kind of put him here for a second while, while I get the box prepared. So you guys can actually see me assemble the box as well. Sorry for the clutter. Yeah, I'm kind of sitting here and I'm like, wow, this is so surreal that this is happening. He's been a part of um, my nursery from like the very beginning of when I first started collecting again. I mean, I bought him, and I apologize for the tape sound, you guys. Okay, feel free to fast forward. So sorry if that bothers you guys. Ah. <laughs> um, this is exactly how I tape a box. <laughs> so I always um, do several pieces this way too. And as you guys can see, I have a brand new box. I wish it my babies boxes. And then I reinforce the sides here. Sweet, you 
guys. <laughs> oh, okay, this is, um, all right, let's see. So let me show you guys what he's gonna come home with. So of course I will send him home with extra diapers. Um, actually I'll just probably put one extra diaper. I don't wanna make the box heavier than it needs to be. I'll just kind of put one extra in this little packet. So in this plastic bag, which is the same one that he came with, he will come home with his, um, and these are all part of his original things that his artist sent him. It's a little rattle lovey. And he has this cute little hat. I'm not sure what it's supposed to match exactly, but it is cute and it does look really cute on him. So he will come home with this. And then um, uh, she included a pair of socks. Oh, and I, and I apologize to his new mommy because I guess he came with, um, he came with these like purple shoes and I thought they actually um, went with uh, the Saskia, Je my Saskia baby that I used to have, Jenna. Okay, here is a magnetized Winnie the Pooh, like Tigger pacifier with a clip. You can see it's magnetized, oops. And, you, and like, I realized I never used Connor's pacifier. <laughs> like, it just stayed in the bag. Um, trying to think what else I have in here. It's just kind of a ribbon. I don't think this is really, oh, this is, um, this is the tag that comes with his blanket. So yeah, I'll go ahead and keep that in there. It's not super necessary. And then here's the COA. So just a Certificate of Authenticity Connolly by uh, Andrea Arcello Originals. Connolly is an original sculpt by Andrea Arcello released in 2016. It's still a relatively new sculpt. Man, he's really cute. As you guys know, Andrea is my favorite sculptor. I just love her sculpts. Like, She's one of the rare sculptors for me that I can't really think of a sculpt of hers that I don't like. Um, I really like all of them. I know that's a bold, <laughs> bold move. Okay, so I'm gonna put, um, I'll just kind of put one diaper, I'll just throw one diaper in there because I know, um, okay. All right, so. I'm gonna do, and then the other things that he will come home with, there is this very pretty, this Spanish knit set. So here are the pants. <laughs> and then there's this, um, and it's light blue, and this one has like buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead and button this one up. We're not gonna put him in it, so I'll go ahead and just button it. And he, when he arrived, he was wearing the Spanish knit set, and and this really cute onesie underneath. Um, I personally like to send my babies home with sleepers, and so that's what he'll be going home with, but I, um, this outfit is a special outfit, so definitely excited to send it home, him home with it. Um, yeah, and if you guys have any um, inside in terms of where you can get the Spanish knits, let me know or make a comment because I think she had asked me and I wasn't sure. I said, well, maybe Etsy or eBay or maybe on Dolphin. I really don't know. Um, oh, actually, this is the front. <laughs> so, okay. I'll go ahead and just fold this up. Here, actually. Okay, so this will get wrapped up. The other item I'm going to send him home with, the other outfit, is another sleeper. It's Absorba, and it's brand new. Hasn't been used before. I figured this would be adorable to send home with him. I have another Absorba sleeper that he has worn before, but he hasn't worn this one. I happen to love this one a lot. 
So hopefully his new, new mommy enjoys that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just fold this one up as well. Okay. And in terms of one additional, <laughs> you guys saw I got several of these um, polar bears from my last Janie and Jack haul. So I'm gonna send, um, it's so soft, I think, Connor never really had like a real lovey, so I'm gonna send this home with him. I think that'll be so cute. And I'll wrap that up one as one of the last things. And then this is the white blanket that he came in. So I'll wrap him up in that as well. Okay, let's get going here. I'm gonna go ahead and line the bottom with bubble wrap as I normally do. And um, I have this tissue paper here, <laughs> yellow, blue, and white, which is great. I'm probably, I might just use the yellow and blue because I've so, <laughs> I haven't really gotten to do a lot of, send a lot of boys home. So yeah, so I'm excited to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and use There's really not too many things to wrap, so I think that'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, I would love to hear any thoughts from you guys. Have you sold a baby who um, you weren't planning to sell, but then you kind of got a private offer to buy that baby? And I think we had talked, and I think there's a, a chat about this a little while ago. Like, would you feel offended if somebody approached you <laughs> to to see if you were interested in selling a baby? I think um, I think a lot of us probably feel hesitant, or, you know, or we just assume, like, oh, that baby's not for sale. Um, so, for example, with with Connor, I don't know if you know I had done a sale post. I'm sure there would have been interest in him. He's really been pretty popular on my channel but um but yeah this this lady just seems super nice and and she was a good communicator which is important and yeah I just felt really comfortable with her so I thought you know yeah let's just let's just do this she, she's in Australia so that part is always trickier with figuring out shipping and stuff like that but she said she would cover the shipping um sorry guys I got a little something around the tape. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is a, sorry, I'm kind of wrapping so slowly. I think I'm still like sitting here. I can't believe this is happening, but don't worry you guys. I, I have plenty of babies, as you guys know, and and I definitely think like the anecdote for you know if you are sad about saying goodbye to a baby is definitely to um, you know enjoy the babies you have in your collection, and I think it's a good anecdote for if you're waiting for a new baby too, assuming that baby you're waiting on is not your very first baby really just enjoy the ones that you have and spend time with them but yeah I really hope Connor gets lots of love and attention he totally deserves it he is he's awesome and yeah I had been feeling guilty that he has been mostly mostly on display like the few times I've interacted with him, you guys have seen, <laughs> seen those videos. So, so it really hasn't been a whole lot. I think, I think it's because part of it was because for a long time he had these like poly pellets. He was like filled with these poly pellets and his body felt a little bit more like a bean bag. And so I just didn't 
pull them all that much, but I did reweight him, so he, I think he feels pretty awesome now. Okay, so I'm going to get his blanket now. I keep thinking I'm like missing something, but I'm really not. I, um, this is not a baby that I made, that I painted, so... I'm gonna go ahead and shift that over so I can give myself a little bit more room. And I hope this blanket is big enough for him because he is, he's massive. Let me just double check. Yep, okay, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> um, I was a little bit worried there for a second because when he arrived, he was not like bubble wrapped. And so he was fairly, he had kind of come to me a bit loose. So let's go ahead and Oh, you farewell, sweet little guy. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? I need to do, do it the other way. Yeah, and with him, I, I just, I made a quick decision. I, um, I didn't do the thing where, you know, I put him away in a box and didn't think about him for a little while. Um, or anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up his limbs in bubble wrap. And I'll probably reinforce this box extra just because it's going overseas. Um, I feel sometimes the post office doesn't do the best job. Yeah, I think I'm going to run out of bubble wrap. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I just ordered some more on Amazon, and there should be more arriving in like two days, which will probably work because I think she needs a couple days to pay me for the shipping cost. So, okay. Oh my gosh, his thigh is so chunky. <laughs> I can barely this bubble wrap around it. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. Chunky boy. Yeah, and I can totally still get the, the baby weighed and or get the, you know, box weighed without the additional bubble wrap. So I mainly just need to wrap him up and everything so I can get a shipping quote. Okay, I really hope I'm not going to regret this decision. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's see here. I feel like hope that this is, yeah, I, I just, I'd like to put one extra little bubble wrap around his head, and then I'll um, obviously do one around the entire baby as well. resource. I just need to conserve it, so. Okay. Sorry, my little guy. Sorry, I'm so quiet, you guys. I'm <laughs> I'm trying not to get sad. I know this is crazy, but <laughs> um, okay. So good. I almost wonder if we have enough bubble wrap to pull this off. Nope, I don't think so. 
Okay. Well, I'll definitely get more. Wow. Okay. <laughs> There's this, like, extra tape here. Okay. Okay, then. Well, okay, so I'm going to need to, clearly I'm going to need to get more bubble wrap. But it will be enough for me to at least get this box weighed. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in. And then I'll put his goodies in there as well. Then I'll just bring this to the post office like this just to get the shipping estimate. And then I will... And then I'll be it. So I won't show you guys the rest of the box packing. I'll, you know, I'll do my normal thing where I put tissue paper on the top, some more bubble wrap. Um, but yeah, as I'm sitting here, you guys, it is so crazy to see Connor boxed up. Um, I'm so used to looking at my that wall and seeing his familiar little face. Um, but yeah, his I know his new mommy is just going to absolutely love him. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some reinforcement of the sides here because, um, yeah, I think this came, came apart a little bit, um, the last box I shipped. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah. And I, uh, I don't know if you guys have had this experience of kind of an unexpected sale like this and what was the experience like for you? Did you regret selling the baby? Um, you know, were you happy? You know, do you not regret your decision? Was there a baby you sold and you regret it? I mean, I guess that's a whole nother topic, but, um, but yeah, I, I, I think I'll be okay with letting Connor go just because I, you know, I feel like I am getting better at hair painting and I really like the painting I'm doing on the babies I'm painting. So I'll look forward to making, um, I'll, I'll make a boy baby. You guys, I, I really want another one for my collection. So now it's just gonna be Kai holding down the fort and Noah. Um, so one reborn, one silicone. But yes, we need we need some more boys. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.